Family Names is a Revit add-in that has a simple yet intuitive design and helps you renaming families or family types as simple as double-clicking in the table and pressing Save. The add-in is located under the Digitech ribbon. You can see the icon with the family names written underneath it. If you hover over the icon and press F1, a help file with will open with a full set of instructions regarding the usage of the add-in. The layout of the add-in is pretty straightforward. It has two main sections, families and family types. If you go under families, you can see a list of families. Basically, these are the families for all the instances that are loaded in the model. If you want to change the name of one family, just double click in the grid, change the name. You can see in the third column, in the sync column, that the icon for this particular row has changed from gray to green. This is telling you that this change has been made in the add-in, but not in Revit yet. You have to press the save button to make this change in Revit. You can press undo. If you want to search for a particular item, you can use the search bar. You can make your change. Saving in Revit. And that's all. You can use other power functions like wrapping text or find and replace. Wrap text allows you to add a prefix or a suffix to one or more items in the list. For example, let's add a DIJ prefix to all of the items. You can add this also to only to the selected items. Or you can use the invalidated items button. But to use the invalidated items button, the, uh, the family names has to pass a validation process. For this, let's go to the name rules. Here we can define a set of rules that will apply to one or more categories. Let's open the form. Let's for instance say that all elements in the family, all section marks has, has, uh, must start with capital M followed by an underscore. Let's create a new rule for that. Let's call this rule section mar marks rule. So here on the right side, we, uh, we can use these methods to define the shape of our family name. For instance, if you want our family to start with a capital M followed by an underscore, we just have to add this one first. Afterwards, we can choose to add a text a number or a variable number. A variable number basically means that you can have between three or and five characters, and those characters can be between A and Z, for example. But for us, we will add the insert any because after capital M and underscore, we can have any kind of text. We can now save the rule. And for this rule to function, let's say that this must apply to the cate uh, category section marks. Here it is. And now we can insert this rule in the app. So if we want to check, you can see that all the elements pass because this rule applies only to section marks. Let's change this one and delete the prefix. And you can see now that this is red. If you go under the wrap text and decide to add a prefix and hit apply to invalidated items, you can see that this item has changed and the prefix has been added.